Well, here we go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever part of the world you happen to be watching me from right now, wake up because it is called Chronicles Time. It seems like this eye always goes down, and I think it's because I have hair on this side. Kathy, help me out, Kathy. God bless you. God bless you, Key. God bless you. How you doing? I hope you are well. Key Scoffy, y'all know I cannot see, so I have to put on my glasses. Alicia Hickerson is on here. Kathy Newkirk, are you going to help me with my eye? God bless you. Lakia Hicks is on here. God bless you. Tanya Stewart is on here. Latia, I cannot wait for us to be in the land of the living like we are, but in the house of Unity Church. Andrea Coart, it's so good to see you. How the dog's doing? Keisha Hunter, how are you? And there's another Keisha. It's funny because Keisha Hunter and Keisha Daniels are both stylists. God bless you all. Thank you all for joining us. Priscilla Spain is on here. Bridget or Bridgish. Penick, am I saying it right? Your name is B. Penick. God bless you. Latanya, how are you? Latusha Simmons is on here. Valerie Johnson is good to see you. Let's get get it. Let's get get it. Let's get get it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Listen to me. Timila, it's so good to see you. Hello. She is our church hugger. God bless you, everyone. Under the sound of my voice, Avis is on here. Lord Renee, God bless you all. I thank God for you because you are under the sound of my voice. I say that because it doesn't disclude anyone. I try to include everybody. Toshiba Smallwoods is on here. Charlotte Hall, she was one of our winners yesterday when Fred and I did our couplings series as far as the trivia. There is our assistant pastor, Delivery Michelle, the Re-Warrior 31 Day Devotional. If you, even got, if you haven't got your book, you need to do so. God bless you all. Everyone under the sound of my voice, listen to me. June 28th, June 28th, I need someone to put it up. June the 28th. Can y'all do that? Christy Jones, God bless you. How you doing? I need someone to put it up. Nikisha Anderson, what's going on? How's your boo-boo? Stink, stink. There's another gatekeeper. I need you guys to put up June the 28th, 2020 at 11 o'clock. Listen to me. If you guys are in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, I think by then we should be okay to go out and be in the sanctuary. Understand we are preparing to have people back inside of the sanctuary. Corey Page, what's up? God bless you. We're preparing because what we have done is we've hired professional sanitizers, which means they come inside of the sanctuary and they spray everything from children's church down to the bathrooms, every single place. Michelle, you tell them to get the book, but could you please put the website up where they can get your book? Put every, I mean, when I tell you they spray the seats, they spray the, 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 the walls, they disinfect the entire sanctuary. This happens twice a week in Unity Church Charlotte. Twice a week. And so when it's time to open up the doors because they're doing it in phases, we should be okay for June 28th. The phase to come inside of the church, we're hoping. Now watch this. It is something called Mystery Sunday. Yeah, Mystery Sunday. This means on June the 28th, we are going to have a mystery guest come. It ain't Fred. That ain't a mystery. It ain't me. I'm going to be there. But we're going to have a guest speaker and they are going to be a mystery. Promise you that it's going to be a mystery. That day, that day, something is going to happen that's going to blow your mind. Y'all know what's going to happen? Uh -huh. I think I'm going to challenge Fred to our hip hop battle. I think I'm going to do that. So please govern yourself to do that. I want to say that I need everyone that can come to the parking lot on Sunday. Do that. If you're part of Unity Church Charlotte, if you're in the tri-state area, come out Sunday. I need you guys to be in your cars because we're still having our parking lot worship. I want to say happy birthday to everyone that is celebrating a birthday. I'm giving people a chance to log on. I want to say Unity Church Charlotte, I love you. You're the best church on the planet. But this movement called the Car Chronicles movement has shifted the very lives of the people of God. Don't be afraid to click. Don't be afraid to share. Don't be afraid to tag because I'm telling you guys, God is doing an amazing thing in the earth and your little finger is doing ministry. I want to say this really quickly. I want to show you something Thing. I'm going to put this up right here. You see this? This is what you call a fake page. I want you guys to be very mindful because if you guys get duped by it, it's not my fault. It's yours because you guys got to watch the numbers. This, I'm going to put it up. The numbers on this page is 576. They have 603 followers. It's a religious organization. This is not me. 
This is not me. So what they do is they go and they take me and Fred's face or whatever I change to change it to. They switch it out. And so watch the numbers because if you get in trouble and get duped, that's your fault. It's not mine because I give you everything to get you aware. The Bible says watch as well as pray. Look at these numbers. You're on right now. There's 1,300 people under the sound of my voice. Cecilia, you actually are on this page following it. This is not me. This is not me. See, I already switched my profile picture to me be with the mask on. So be careful. Y'all got to realize that. Okay. I want to go to the word of God and this is going to hurt. I need my intercessors to be on deck because I've got to give you what thus said the Lord and some messages that the Lord tells me to give to you. It hurts a little bit. It hurts a little bit, but it's going to help. Are y'all ready to go back outside? Are y'all ready to go back outside to the new normal? Are y'all ready? I've got to ask you that. Are you ready to go back outside and deal with the new normal? I'm saying this because COVID-19, we really don't... Not, now, I'm going to say this really quickly. I think that 45 was wrong. The way he attacked that young lady for asking a question, and he, she, he said, why don't you go ask China? That was a sly, that was, that was so slick. You're not, we're not stupid. And, and she says, well, why did you ask me? Because you're Asian. You, 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 that, that, of course. And so I, you got to be very careful because, I mean, this is going to tie into the message. People who want something because it looks good and you don't have the character to maintain the position, you're going to make a mess. And so we are all in this dilemma because somebody wanted to be president. And unfortunately, um, he has been put in this position and we are all paying for it. And I said it and I said it. I did it. I did it. And I'm quite sure I'm going to be in trouble for saying that. And so I want to teach you something this morning about character. I want to teach you about people who want something so bad until they'll cut your neck to get it. I want to teach you about people who want something so bad because it looks good, but they don't have the attributes to maintain it. Let's go to Philippians 2. Get your coffee, teas, and meat. I thank God for you. Someone says, okay, y'all need to, okay, someone says, yes, God. Go on, contact and share somebody because it's about to be real good. I'm not in my car because I'm traveling. I am traveling. I will be back. I will be back, and I'll be giving the word of God on Sunday. Apostle Fred will be doing his series and you guys stay tuned because he will be giving a series on Wednesday. Philippians 1. It says this. I'm going to verse 2. It says this. I need you to pay attention. Therefore, Philippians 2, therefore, if you, I'm going to say to everyone, 1,600 people, Philippians 2 and 2, therefore, if you had any encouragement from being united with Christ. So I want to speak to all of the, un listen, we are part of the United States of America. The United States means to be connected to something in oneness. Uh -huh. It simply means that we are united together. See, unity, it's a church of liberty, love, and laughter. And so I want to speak to all of you who are connected to individuals while God is accelerating you. Uh -huh. I want to speak to all of you that's connected to a friend uh -huh, or somebody that you can count on during the time, never mind COVID, of your life. Listen to me. And so the word of the Lord is saying, therefore, if you in anything, you encourage someone, please let it be in unity in Christ. God bless you, Karen. And God is saying, if you can be united in Christ with Christ, it says this, if any comfort from his love be there, if anyone have the common sharing in the spirit, if anyone has tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being just like that. So he's saying all of the attributes to unite yourself. Can you please be that to your fellow man? Mm -hmm. Basically, that's right, Angela Blake. He's saying, could you please be connected? Uh -huh with oneness in Christ. You could have people connected in oneness and you're not on one accord. Ah, that's why most marriages don't work. You could have people and you can have a good, 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 good girlfriend, but yet still you find yourself 
Are we friends or are we not? Uh -huh. You got to be careful, God, who you connect yourself in when God is doing a new thing in your life. It's going to get good. So God is saying, what I need you to do is have all the common factors of Christ. Sheila Mitchell Vaughn is so good to see you. God is incredible. Isn't he first lady? He's incredible. You've got to be careful that all of these attributes uh -huh, that you connected to be like Christ. Everybody who is a Christian ain't a Christian. Mm -mm. I know some ugly, mean Christians. Uh -huh. I know somebody right now who don't like me, but yet still tell me, okay, I, I wrote a book. And? 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 You can't spit on me, kick my back in, and then expect oneness. God, no, it does not work. Wake up now. Come on, I need you to contact and share. Wake up. You got people right now that's connected to you. You better be careful why they're here. You better ask yourself, what are you here for? Why are you here? Oh, why you want to be my friend all of a sudden? Oh, I want to know why you like me all of a sudden. So, okay, okay. Camara said facts. I need to know why all of a sudden. Someone said, my Lord, today. Oh, you got to watch those all of a sudden people. Because about, someone said, speak. Harriet Hunt, Thompson, <laughs> Harriet Hunt said, speak. I want to know all of a sudden why, why you love me. I need to know all of a sudden why when it wasn't okay, it's okay now. Okay. Someone said, oh, Lord, today. All of the attributes to be connected to me. You didn't have, but now you got it, okay? Somebody said, Jamela, you stepping on feet. That's okay. As Bishop Huey Rogers said, your feet shouldn't be in and out. Having the same love, being in one spirit of one mind. Do nothing without selfish ambition. Eh, blah, 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 blah. Or vain consent or conceit. Meaning this. There are people who have a motive. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. I want to speak to all of you that know somebody like that, that they got a motive why they're your friend. They got a motive why they connect. It's a motive behind their madness. Uh-huh. Hear this message today. What is your motive? Everybody got a mother. Everybody got a motive. Understand, even some mothers got a motive. She don't like you, but all of a sudden, you, you, you the best daughter. What? You a good daughter when it's time for Mother's Day. But then after Mother's Day, y'all go back to not speaking. Why now? He said, all of these things, please don't do it with vain ambition. Vain, selfish ambitious mean, and vain consent, that means that there is a motive. There's a reason. What's going on here? Rather, in humility, value each other above yourself. That means where was the value that I had when you didn't have something coming out? Where was the value in me when you wasn't opening up a business? Where was the value in me? See, folks don't see the value until they got a need. God, folk, okay, I thought you loved me. We was in love. Okay, what, what, why you love me all of a sudden? You good, you know, God, listen, y'all ain't been in love for a minute. But all of a sudden, you a good, good wife. You you a good, good husband. Said good God today. It's the agenda. 2,000 people. Someone said, my sisters. Okay, I ain't in that. You said that. I ain't say that. Now, somebody just put up their sisters. Okay. If that's what you say. That's your story. You sticking to it. Pam Bailey, God bless you. Y'all better click tag and share. It's about to get real good. And the Bible says this. It says, now, in humility, where's the value in all of that? But be human, listen, have humility and value with them before yourself. Not looking to your own interests. Uh huh. Yeah, there you go. Not looking for your own interests in gain, but each of you to the interests of each other. That means just like, listen to me, I want everybody connected to this pastor to win. There is nothing. If you don't know me personally, ask a member of my church, not somebody that ain't no longer there that's mad because they got the left hand of fellowship. I want you to ask somebody, please, even if you hang it out with somebody that's no longer part of the church, I see you and I have a problem with that. Listen to me. I need you to find someone that I push. Mm -hmm. A good pastor pushes the people, God. And so I don't want those that got a motive. I need those under the sound of my voice. I am pushing you to be greater than your circumstances because I 
I see the value in yourself before I see it in me. Hear me. And most of your mamas don't want you to be great because they wasn't so great themselves. Some of their fathers don't want you to accelerate because they can't accelerate because they don't see it in themselves. I want everybody connected. Jalen Carr. Oh, I'm trying to get her for she favor. 2021 in Brooklyn. Where is she when she says everything Attached to me wins. And this is where it is. Everything attached to Car Chronicles and Unity Church, you've got to win. Hear me? Terry Thompson said we are winning 2,100 people in the sound of my voice. I am not selfish. I have an interest in what interests you. And I'm going to try to pull it and push it, especially if you see the value in me as a leader. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset. In Christ Jesus, watch this, we get ready to close. Who being in the very nature of God, watch this. He was the very nature of God. He did not consider himself equal with God. Ah, Bobosa. That's powerful because his father was the God of the universe. Hear me. But he saw himself just a little lower than the angels. He was humility was his name. He said he considered himself not equal with God, but to use his own advantage. Rather, he be made himself nothing. Meaning the God that had everything said, I am nothing. I need all my arrogant people. Go on and tag somebody that's real arrogant and prideful. We don't, they don't know that. They don't know that. Just go tag them. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He said, I am nothing. But what he did is he took on the very nature of a servant. Someone said, you in the vein now. Of a servant. The Bible said the greatest among you is the servant. And you don't want to serve. You want to be the head. You don't want to serve. You want to open the church. You don't want to serve. I'm too good. You beneath me. And I'm the pastor. But yet still you say, I can't. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all knew some of the attacks I get as a leader, when someone says, I could pass the church, you can't pass the church, but yet still, you can't rub two nickels together. If you don't go sit yourself down, there are some people right now, they simply mad because God has given you the wits, the wisdom, and the knowledge, and the intuitiveness to do something, and they sit back saying, I could do a better job. Well, baby, if you could, it's a whole lot of churches that you need to go ahead and pastor. Let me know how that work out for you. Someone said, I'm with, okay. But the man of God that healed the lepers, man of God that made the blind see, the man of God that turned water into wine, the man of God that got up, he became a servant. What's wrong with y'all that y'all don't want to serve? Everybody that want to serve, there's a price tag have to be attached to it. Where are my servants? If you a servant, I need you to please put the word servant up. Michelle does it. I am a servant girl. Hear me. Where are the servant? No, nobody want to serve. Everybody want to be the boss. See, that's how I know people are not ready to be elevated. That's how I know people are not ready because you don't want to serve. You have to serve. People say, you know what? You've been pastoring for two years come June 7th. That's right. Bishop Cameron, Cameron Washington will be there. For two years, I've been pastoring, but I've been evangelizing for 37 years. Watch the fruit. Have you served before you said, I'm going to put myself in a position that I didn't work for? Have you served? I need everybody under the sound of my voice to ask at yourself, learn, are you learning to serve? People looking at you and they're like, no, I don't want to serve. I want to be the head. What? Cheryl Walker, are you praying for me? Okay. Mm -hmm. You can't even clean the church. You can't even, the Bible said if you can be faithful over a few things, then I'll make you rule over many. You get, you forgot around that, right? But he says this, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself. He humbled himself by becoming obedient into death, mm -hmm. even on the cross. That's powerful. Listen to the word. He humbled himself so much until the most richest man in the world was born in a poor like manger. Can you go through that? the most powerful man on the earth, he humbled himself and he was obedient. You cannot serve as a servant unless you're willing to take an order or a command from an hierarchy. The problem with the church is you have a problem my God, I'm, with order. You have a problem, God, in your position. You have a problem with taking... A, Naomi and Ruth, she did not get a man until she listened to the wisdom 
given to her through her authority, which was her dead husband's mother-in-law. Most women want a, want a husband, but you can't listen to the mother of the church. You can't let people don't like wisdom, especially fools. Ah, hear me. The Bible says that he was obedient and he hear. He listened. Most people have a problem with authority, God, because they don't understand servitude. Somebody's son is in trouble simply because he didn't want to listen to his mother. Hear me? And the Bible said unto the cross that this man was humble. Therefore God exalted him in a high place in due time and gave him a name that is above every name. He, listen to me. Y'all not, I'm, I'm, I'm reading this this way so your understanding can open up. It said that he became humble unto death. He obeyed God even on the cross and God exalted him to the highest place and then gave him a name above every single name imaginable because he was obedient. That at that name, Jesus, every single knee shall bow in the heavens and in the earth. And they're going to acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glorious of God, our Father. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. Someone said, preach, Pastor. I need you to understand something because y'all did not get this thing because you're on here and you're on my page. Watch the numbers. I want you to understand what I'm saying to you. I need you to be bold enough to go get it, mm -hmm. but humble enough to keep it. Uh -huh. Be bold enough to go get it, uh -huh. but humble enough to keep it. Mm. You've got to understand because I've got to bring someone into this. Uh, most people, you want something, uh, but you ain't humble enough to main, maintain it. Understand because God has given you a gift. Yes, he has. The Bible said the gifts and the callings are given without repentance. It simply means this. <clears throat> me, 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 me. God gave you a gift. Huh? He's not sorry he gave it, huh? but free will allows you huh, to operate it through Christ. God, huh? which means this. Huh? You don't know this, but I'm going to tell you something that's going to blow your mind. Mm -hmm. Did you know psychics are really prophets, uh -huh? but they you the gift uh, of God uh, that God gave them without saying, uh, I'm going to take it back. Uh, they take it and they give it uh, God, uh, to the wrong God. Everything you do, you do it unto the glory of God. Uh, people who are prideful, mm -hmm, people who God knows want something, uh, they go around God uh, and say, I'm going to do it anyway. God, uh, did you know I'm going to say this? Uh, the gifts and the callings of repentance. Hear me. That's why you got folks that can sing in the heavens down, huh? but they choose to give it huh? about to God or not. Free will is something that God gave us, huh? and he is not sorry that he did it. Huh? He gives us free will because he wants us to make the right choice. Hear me, huh? You can't be lukewarm. Huh? You cannot be hot or cold. Huh? You can't listen. Pick a side. Huh? The word of God said if you are lukewarm, huh? he'll spill you out of his mouth. Huh? Hear me, huh? did you know you got some folks, huh? and you don't know that God is using you, huh? and you don't even know you've been fired? God, uh, folks, listen to me. Uh, are you humble with your gift uh, and give it unto God? Hear me. Uh, or are you using it for... Did, okay. Somebody just got hurt because they log off Cheryl, but it's okay. Uh -huh. Someone said, Jesus, Jesus, hear me. Most people look at you hmm, and they look at what you do hmm, and they say, I could do that. Hmm. I got some people look at you huh, and they don't understand why was favor given to her. Huh? It was given to her because uh, it was given to him because uh, they executed humility. Huh? I got to be bold enough to go get it. Huh? Be humble enough to keep it. Hear me. Huh? I got to bring my man's soul into this. Uh, yes, I'm going to bring it into them. Listen, the word of God told me to write this down. 2,300 folks on the sound of my voice could tag a share. Mm -hmm. There was a man named King Saul. Uh -huh. 2,300 folks. People said, preach, preach, preach. Emmy, I'm nothing but a servant girl. God used from Brooklyn. Emmy, I need you to click tag a share about two people. I'm going to blow your mind. Mm -hmm. Please understand, there was a man named Saul. I've got to bring him into this. Uh, Saul, hear me. Um, Saul messed it up. Mm -hmm. This King Saul, listen to me. Uh, God anointed him. Mm -hmm. But God 
God knew that he was going to uh, disqualify himself. Uh, king Saul, uh, the famous king uh, who crashed. Yes, right. Uh, king Saul, uh, the famous king who crashed. Uh, I'm going to blow your mind. I've got to slow down because uh, I've got to teach you this thing. Uh, there is something in 1 Peter 5 and 6. Uh, it says, humble yourself, uh, therefore under God's almighty hand, uh, that he may lift you up in due time. Uh, I'm going to say this because y'all don't get it. Uh, why would God say, uh, humble yourself uh, under the hand of God? Uh, because it's the hand of God uh, that he uses to pull you up. Uh, see, uh, it's the hand of God uh, that he uses uh, to reach down and pull you out uh, of the muck and mild clay. Uh, that's why he say, uh, humble yourself uh, under the hand of God uh, so you won't be under his foot. Uh, the footstool, God, uh, is where you find yourself. Because uh, pride cometh before the fall. Hear me? I want you to know something. Huh? The Bible said uh, that God anointed Saul, huh? but he messed it up. Huh? I'm going to put up something huh? that's going to blow your mind. Huh? Folks that are prideful, huh? oh God, huh? you are in a bad way. Huh? The Bible said uh, he exalts the humble huh? in due time. Huh? What prideful people say is, I don't need them to do that. Hmm? What prideful people say, huh? I'm going to go around the room. What? Hold on now, wait a minute. Huh? Hold on, because prideful people, huh? y'all don't understand the favor of God. Huh? Because you say it was the favor of God. Huh? Now, you don't know the difference between the favor of God hmm? and a favor from man. Ah, see, you don't understand. Huh? The favor from man don't last. Huh? The favor of God is of, is of eternity. Someone said, my Lord, mm -hmm. go contact a share. Huh? Y'all don't understand. Huh? The favor of God huh? is everlasting. Hear me. I'm going to say something because y'all on my page and y'all need to understand. Huh? Favor is very fair. Huh? The problem that you got with favor is because it wasn't fair to you that they got it. Huh? I'm going to say it again. Did you watch the fruit? Huh? Because the fruit bears witness. Huh? Uh -huh. Did you watch the fruit? Huh? There are some things here, the word of God in Philippians 2. It speaks about some of the fruits of the spirit. Uh, it speaks about compassion and love. Uh, and, uh, she, uh, it even spoke Mother Adele Brown. Did you serve God? Uh, no, you ain't serve. You, you, you too good to serve. You too good. To, you too good. Hey, Beverly Brown, you too good to sit underneath the leader. You too good to clean the church. You are too good. Well, baby, let me help you with something. Even God, uh, who could have done so many miraculous signs and wonders as a child, uh, came in low, low, low. Uh, you can't go low, uh, uh, God, because in your mind you have exonerated yourself as too high. I'm, I'm too good for that. Uh -huh. Have you ever gotten yourself in a confrontation with a very conceited friend? I don't have time to debate, neither do you. Uh, 2,400 folks on the sound of my voice. Uh, let God exalt you. Uh, Hold on, it's going to get good. Huh? You ain't even got to say nothing. Huh? Go and wait and let God do it. Huh? And that one family member that's always running, telling their body's business, huh? oh, she or he going to open a mouth and say, you know what God is doing in their life? Huh? Favor is very fair. Huh? They just mad because it fell on you. Huh? Because God said you were humble enough to receive it. Huh? And you sought me in the fall. Huh? He said, when you seek me huh, during the time of your hardest day of your life huh? and you keep my name on your lips, huh? God said, I can exonerate you and do time. Now, they're not going to like this. Someone said, come on here now. Apostle, hear me. Huh? Saul, now watch this. Huh? Saul was a very prideful man. Huh? Prideful people. They ain't going to let your past go. Uh huh. Let me understand something here for you, CCM. Huh? Would you click your tags and your share? Huh? You ain't got no time to debate folks about what you doing. Huh? You ain't got no time to go against folks, what they're doing. Huh? I'm going to need you to concentrate on the most high God. Because huh? he says, I'm exonerating you. Huh? And I'm making your name great among men. Huh? You ain't got Hold on. Let me, let me cross my leg. I don't have time hmm, to go back and forth with folks. Huh? I'm too busy chasing God, Mother Adele. Huh? I don't have time huh, to tell you or explain. Huh? See, I'm going to tell you something about prideful people. Huh? They always pick at you. Huh? They do it because huh? they don't understand the move of God. Huh? Let me show you something. Huh? Prideful people, hmm, they always concentrate huh, on your flaws. Come on, said, my God, yes, apostle. Uh, listen to me, hear me. Uh, MJ is fine. Serving girl is better. Uh, you don't understand. Uh, prideful 
people always pick out your flaws uh, because if they can pick out your flaws, uh, hear me, uh, they can always contemplate and concentrate on you and all that. Uh, they need a, someone say, NJ Gibbs said, this word is fire. Hear me, click, tag, and share. They always looking at the wrong that you're doing uh, because their mind don't want to accept your right. God, uh, oh God, you don't even understand. I need you to be bold enough to go get it, but be humble enough to keep it. Uh, hear me, uh, a man cannot stand uh, a little sure against the favor of God. Uh, Oh God, rolling on the favor of some man. Huh? It doesn't work that way. Huh? Oh God, show me somebody, Leslie, huh? Crystal Pitt, God bless you. Huh? Show me somebody that goes and do something. Huh? And it don't last a good two years. Huh? Because did you understand that God said, huh? this is not the season. Huh? Oh God, huh? you're moving a little too fast for me. Huh? Show me somebody right now huh? that says I'm bold enough to go get it. Huh? Oh God, huh? But you ain't humble enough to keep it. Huh? It takes humility. Glory said, Jesus, you got my back, Glory. Okay, you and Fred. Mm -hmm. There is something about humility, huh? yeah, give it she, huh? that people don't understand. Huh? It is an attribute of God huh? to sustain the gift. Huh? Let me get she, huh? Understand what humility does. Huh? Humility is an attribute huh? that God said, huh? be united with me, huh? with compassion and love, huh? and everything that the world said you couldn't have, huh? favor shall give it. Huh? Exalt yourself underneath the hand of God, huh? and in due time, huh? he'll pull you up. Hear me, huh? Oh God, you can't be afraid to go down low, huh? because when you down, go down low, huh? God says, I'm there too. Huh? He said, if you make your bed in hell, huh? I'll be there too, Mother Adele. Huh? If you make your bed in hell, hear me, huh? God says, wherever you go, be humble enough to take me with you. But understand, people who are prideful, no, it ain't God, it's me. Mm -hmm. Hear me, huh? I remember this friend of mine, God bless his soul, huh? he said to me, he said, hear me, huh? if there is too many me's in someone's message, huh? I need you to watch them. Huh? It's to God be the glory. Huh? Hear me. Huh? I don't care what people say about me. Huh? It's to God be the glory. Huh? Call, I don't even want people to call. I understand. I get it. Apostle. Yeah. Call me MJ. Huh? Call me Jamila. Huh? He, I'll take Pastor Shepherd, huh? but I'd rather be a servant girl. Huh? Hear me. Huh? I remember Josh Petty. Mm -hmm. Hear me. Huh? I remember Josh Petty came inside of the church huh? and he walked by the bathroom. Huh? He did a double take, 2,500 folks could tag his share. Huh? And he said, Pastor, what are you doing? Huh? I said, I'm cleaning the church. Huh? He said, you shouldn't be cleaning the church. Huh? I said, let me tell you something. Huh? I got it, son. That's my spiritual son. Huh? But I want you to understand something. Huh? I'm humble enough to do it. Huh? See, huh? Most folks who are prideful, huh? they ain't got humility. Huh? No, I don't clean the church. Huh? No, I don't sing in praise and worship. Huh? No, I don't. I don't do none of that. I'm to preach. I need to get up that child. If you don't sit down, not in Unity Church. Sorry, and possibly in not other church because I've already got an inventory of those on my staff. Pastors, take a page out of my book. Ask for a letter from the last pastor. Hear me? Oh God, ask the ask the bishop for for. Y'all believe in all this tradition? Ask them huh, and see what they say. Huh? See, understand there is a difference between the favor of man and the favor of God. The favor of man don't last because when it's time to pay, you ain't got it. Hey, go shot. But God said in my favor, huh, you owe nobody nothing but love. Huh? Hear me. Huh? 2,500 folks on the side of my voice. What you do, it seemed to be easy. You think this is easy? No. See, people are looking at the fact that you got a home now, huh? and they don't know that you labored to get it. Huh? People are looking at the fact that you all boot up, boot up, boot up, boot up, huh? and they don't understand that you went through hell, huh? and God said it's your season, huh? because you were humble enough to go through the fire. Huh? Y'all don't understand Shadrach, huh? Meshach, huh? and a bad Negro. Huh? They were humble enough to get in the fire. Huh? Uh -huh. Oh God, huh? But bold enough and humility enough, huh? to come out with praise. Huh? Hear me, huh? most of you huh? prideful folks that want to talk to you, huh? you ain't humble enough to go through the fire because huh? it means that you got to hear the king when he says, huh? throw him in it. Huh? You ain't humble enough to go in the lodge then because huh? you would fight to go uh, nowhere within the confines of the scripture. Huh? Did you hear Daniel fight huh? inside the lion then nowhere in the confines of the scripture. Huh? Did you hear Shadrach and Meshach run? Huh? Hear me, huh? prideful people don't want to go through something. Huh? And they run at the opportunity when it is presented right. Uh, hear me. Oh, did, did I hurt your feelings? I'm going to hurt your feelings to save your life. Uh, 2,500 folks on the sound of my voice. Uh, uh -huh. That's why prideful people all 
always running from church to church to church. Uh, relationship to relationship to relationship. Uh, friendship to friendship to friendship. Uh, oh God, listen. Uh, they don't have it in them. Uh, so w- listen to me. Uh, when opportunity presents themselves to really go through something. Uh, prideful poke. Someone said she dropping mics. They don't want to go through it. Hear me. Most relationships don't work because you've got to go through something. Hear me. Hear me. Watch the fruit. Watch the fruit. Because the Bible said the fruit bears when I'm going to be a prophet. I'm going to be an evangelist. I'm not saying you can't do all of those things, but watch the fruit. Huh? The fruit bears witness, God. Huh? Most of you doing stuff huh, with rotten fruit, God. Huh? Most of you are doing something, God. Huh? Jarvis said, said huh? someone said, oh my God, see for me today. I got you. I, I got you. Huh? Most of you, God says, I'm giving you something. Huh? You're bold enough to go get it, huh? but you're but you ain't got humidity to keep it. Tire, bless you. Um, hear me. Um, everyone under the sound of my voice. Uh, go through something. Huh? God says in this pandemic. Uh, uh, God, can you give me praise? Uh, prideful persons under the sound of my voice. Uh, you, you don't want to praise God in the pandemic. Because uh, this ain't supposed to happen to you. Hmm? Chaba, prideful people always uh, say it's not supposed to happen to me. Huh? Oh no, that I don't do that. Huh? That nose snarled up, hear me, Jay Kazana. Huh? Then they, they look at you like you a whole mess of stink. Just okay, hold on. Since I'm not crazy right now, I'm radical for God. Those of you that know a prideful people, can you just give a, a angry face? Go, go, go put the emoji up there. All of my replay people, everybody from internationally are known for the car radical movement. If you know somebody that is very prideful, give an angry face because I know I'm not in this by myself. Prideful people, you don't understand. They don't even have the face of humility. The face of humility means I am not bigger than what you say, huh? I'm humble unto God. Huh? People who are prideful, huh? they wear it on their face. Huh? It's in their conversation. Huh? I got, it's in every attribute. That, oh, well, well, well. Look it, look it, friend. Look it, look it. Well, it seems uh, that I ain't by myself because it ain't one face going, to, okay, now, hear me. The Bible speaks in Philippians 2 about being in oneness. And so now I am saying now, those of you who are late, you missed it. If you know someone that is prideful, give an angry face. Hear me. And so now, because we are now in the spirit of oneness, I, I can command the blessings of God. Uh, may God bless everyone under the sound of my voice uh, that God has promised you something. Uh, and someone that does not display humility uh, during the time of your acceleration, exhaustion, or promotion. God allow the person that's snarling and speaking about them to stay right there. And everyone under the sound of my voice, God, exonerate them. And God, do like it is in traffic where you are waiting and someone in the back sees an opportunity. By God that day, hear me, go around them, God, because it's your season. Allow the person going up the timeline right now that said, I know somebody prideful. God allow them, God, to get the favor while the prideful people are riding on the coattail of a man's favor. Hear me? Somebody said, you woman of God, you're crazy. I know I am. I'm a radicalist. I'm a Jesus freak. Say what it is. Listen to me. Understand that God said, he said, I will exalt you. Hear me? He said, all of the attributes you need in humility, display it. I'm going to say this during COVID-19. Doing COVID-19. God was looking for the humility in people. Uh huh. He was looking for those and looking. Now I get it. Now I realize that some people lost somebody. Shay, Sugar Shay, I'm praying for you. Hear me. She lost her grandmother and her aunt. We're praying. But I want to speak to those that despite the pandemic, you find yourself in praise. Uh huh. I want to speak to everyone under the sound of my voice that despite the pandemic, you got a promotion. Yes, somebody lost a job. Huh? But God said, now someone's going to gain a job. Huh? Somebody lost a house. But God said, hold on, hold back the mortgage. Someone's going to get a house. Hold on. I got when someone lost a business, God said, hold on, wait. I'm going to promote you and give you more than you could ever imagine. I got when God said that someone got sick. There's someone that says, no, I got well. God said, when someone was trying to get pregnant in the pandemic, somebody said, no, hold on. I got, I thought I wasn't going to get pregnant, but you got, you about, you about four months in, four months in. God said, I'm doing powerful things in this pandemic because my Listen, my folks that display humility, 
they have exalted themselves underneath the hand of the Almighty. And so now what I can do in the pandemic, I can pull you up. God says what I'm going to do in the pandemic, I'm going to pull you up. Because you didn't get pride for her, you yet showed humility and you sought me first. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and then I shall add those things to you. You were not prideful and added to yourself, Andrea White. You allowed the Savior huh, to exonerate you huh, because God says it's due time. Huh? He said, now during this pandemic, huh, he said, I shall repay. Huh? He said, you don't get what I'm doing. Huh? He said, how do I get huh, the wealth of the wicked? He said, what I'm doing now, huh? I'm using a prideful leader huh, to bless the children of God. Huh? Now that you're getting all frustrated, walking off of the conference and the press and disrespecting people. He said, what I'm going to do, um, you don't like what I'm saying? Please take it up with God. Um, he said, I'm going to use the powerful leader uh, to bless the righteous. Uh, the wealth of the wicked can only be stored up for the righteous uh, when he makes the powerful people his footstool. Now, God is saying, um, be bold enough to go get it. Huh? He said, now during this pandemic, go get it. Huh? But be humble enough to keep it. Huh? Meaning God's going to give you stuff huh, that you never could imagine during this pandemic. Huh? He said, what I want you to do now huh, is be humble and keep it. Hear me. The humbleness of God means that I'm displaying the characteristics of Christ in unity, oneness, compassion, and love. And I'm humble that I did not have to have this opportunity that God says I'm worthy for. I dare not get big headed. I dare not go around God. I dare not do things contrary to the word of God because I believe that I deserve it or I think I should get it and they ain't doing it. And I, prideful people always got something to say. She always thinks she all that. No, he think that he all that. Well, I'm gonna be that. Watch me do it. I ain't gonna have to do nothing. I'm going to show you something. Show me a prideful person and show me their fruit. I'm going to say this to you because most people don't understand that prideful people don't have fruit. They put themselves in a position that they cannot handle. They put themselves in the position through a favor of men and they find themselves in a position where God himself says, I did not ordain that. I did not say. See, that's why God said, exonerate. He said, in due time. That means in due time, you are going to have to wait for God to say, now is the time. 2,600 folks under the sound of my voice, hear me. I am going to say this. You put yourself. I'm saying this and I know I'm going to get in trouble, but yeah. I have attorneys for that. Donald Trump's mother said, as a businessman, he's good. But I hope he never runs for president. And so now he's making a mess of things. People who God says, I'm giving you a gift. They says, I know what you gave it. Stay in your lane. But she says, nah, I'm going to do that. That's what I, I want to do. It. I, 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 because prideful people, their heads are big. And it's full of nothing but noise. You put them in a position, they jack it up. If you put them in a position, and I, I could, I could, I had this one girl say, I could be a better pastor than you. Go ahead. Please. And can't get a good 20, 25 people at a conference. God says, I'm going to do it, but can you humble yourself long enough for me to give you the character to sustain it? That means I've got to get you humble. I'm going to ask y'all one more time. Show me a person that is prideful, that did something, and they got fruit. I, I, I'm, I'm asking you. I put their name up. I, don't be afraid. Show me a person. Please show me a person. Show me a person that's prideful, and they saying, I could do that. They get in a position, and they mess it up. I, I'm going to wait, because most of y'all, I'm waiting. Show me a person. I'm waiting. Ain't nobody bold enough to put a name up. Where they fruit? About two months ago, God said to me, okay, I'm waiting. Show me a person that did something out of pride 
and they got fruit. The word of God said that pride cometh before a fall. And people who are prideful put themselves in positions and they're guaranteed to fall. Be bold enough to go get it, but be humble enough to keep it. That means when God says go with boldness, but take me with you, man. Come on, dog. He said, take me with you. Prideful people, they don't take God with them. They're in their own flesh. And that's why God is saying, pride cometh before fall. I'm a guarantee you, they ain't going to make it. I'm a, I ain't speaking those things that be not there for. It's facts. Understand, Saul, powerful king, messed it up. Messed it up. Because he wasn't humble enough to hear God. He wasn't humble enough to move according to God. He got in his own way because, hear me, where strife is, every evil work is following. And when you find a person that's prideful, you find jealousy. You find impatience. You find wickedness. You find motive. You find evilness. You find every evil work follows. Someone said, only MJ will pay Jeopardy music. Talia, you know how I am. I love you. And God is saying, listen, go get it. Go get it. But take humility with you. Take me with you. God says, in this pandemic, I am promoting. God said, in this pandemic, I'm promoting. And when God exonerates and accelerates you and make your name great among men, please understand. Terry said, I said about four. Please understand. God, I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to honor you. I honor God today with my seed for my promotion. I honor God. That's my sacrifice. My seed of promotion because God says, in the pandemic, I'm going to promote. But God, let me always be humble. I'm a servant girl. People who are prideful, they're like, nah, I ain't no servant. I'm the pastor. I'm the preacher. I'm the bishop. I'm the apostle. I'm the teacher. So what? I could do it. I'm going to write five books. So what? You ain't got no best. I'm an author. And you ain't. You can't even spell the word author, but you're an author. See, God can't bless people because he give you one thing and you say, all right, I've arrived. I've arrived. God said, if you don't sit your simple tail down. And God says, now, nah, instead of bending the knees, I got to break them because you know what? You, 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 you done got big headed. I don't have time for a big head. I'm the same person y'all see on Facebook. Ask the people you need church. I'm just as silly and humble. I tell you in a, I tell you in a minute, I'm humble. I believe that God has so many great things for us. And I think people just mess it up because you ain't even patient enough to go through the process. Anytime God presents an opportunity, there was a process in it. It's called being processed and you have to get processed. People don't want to be processed. They want it micro. You know, I dream of genius. She just, that's what you do. You want thing. I want somebody to love me. I want somebody to love me. Somebody going to love you. But what, what you, what you do? God taking too long. And then your impatience allows your loneliness to get you connected to people that ain't good for you. Or you say, well, I, you know, I'm going to go see the witch. You gonna go see the witch to do what? The Bible says suffer not a witch to live. I want a man. So what you're going to do is you're going to go get somebody's comb. I don't know what y'all doing. Go get their hair, their socks, whatever, and, and wrap it up. Send it to the, I buy voodoo, voodoo, white magic, black magic. I every magic known to man. God says, you doing stuff that don't make no sense. I don't want to be grand. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I do things with excellence unto the Lord God him crucified. Go ahead. Go ahead and put yourself in a position that God said was your time. And when you fall... Oh, babe. I'm just going to pray for you. Go ahead. God said, buy the house. Buy the house. You buy the house, but you buy a six-bedroom, four-bathroom house. For what? To buy a bunch of things for a bunch of people you don't like. Will Smith said. Pastor Will Smith at that, at that fact. You buy a whole bunch. You trying to impress a bunch of people. No, for what? I ain't got no time to impress a soul. I don't have time for it. You, God says, could you please just take a page out of my book? I came as a mere servant. I am Pastor Jamila Young. And every time you click my button, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. I am saying to all of you men, please be mindful. Y'all need help. Please allow 
Pastor Fred D. Gooden III, follow his page. God's Man on Deck, Man to Man, Thursdays at 7 o'clock. Please, because y'all need help too. Because sometimes y'all's head could be like this. I love y'all. I'll see y'all later.